boom, you hit them with this one. Boom, you hit them with this one. Boom, you hit them with that one. And lastly, bah, you hit them with this. You're hired, the client absolutely loves it. We are putting a picture, a video, a color inside of our text, inside of CapCut today. Let's get straight to it. Let's say you have a cool image and you wanna put it inside of text. It's really easy. If you're fine with your background being black, there's a really, really simple way of doing this. What you're gonna need is to create a first layer using some sort of solid. And by solid, that can be anything like a solid color. So go on Google and download just a plain solid color. For our second layer, we're gonna to need to have our text. And then for our third layer, we're gonna to need to have the image that we wanna place inside of the text. All I'm gonna do is click on my image and let's expand it and just place it into the middle. Let's go and disable that image by clicking V. And for my text layer, I'm gonna use a font that I like. This is called Gutals. You can just download it from online. And I like this one because it's super wide and let's just make this text so we can increase the size a little bit more. From here, activate our image once again by clicking V and go to blend mode and click linear burn. There we go, just like that, our picture is inside of our text. The only problem with this is we can only use it with a black background. Let me show you what happens if we try and have another background. You can see there that we have that black outline of the image inside of that text. So we wouldn't really be able to use this because this isn't the effect that we want. We wanna be able to use the text wherever we want. Let's get into the second method. What you're gonna do is have a black background just like we started with. Let's go ahead and duplicate that text layer. On your text layer, you can add animations. So if we go to typewriter, that's kind of a cool effect. Once you've found the animation you wanna use, there are tons inside of CapCut. Go to your text, go to color, and change it to green. You want it luminescent green, right? So that looks perfect. So we have the animation and our text is green. What we're gonna do now is export the sequence. I'm gonna click I at the beginning of the sequence, and at our end, I'm gonna click O. That creates in and out points for where we wanna export. Command E, or you can click this export button at the top, and we're just gonna call this text one. Choose your export destination and click export. That'll literally only take a couple of moments. Now go ahead and find that file, and drag it right back inside of CapCut. What we're gonna do now is find the background that we wanna use to replace it. I found my backgrounds, there's three cool black and white images. All I'm gonna do is disable this top layer and make sure that these bottom layers fill the whole screen, just like we did in that first step. This is really so that they cover over where that text is, all right? So let's just uh, click on them, expand them using the little buttons or we can drag the scale up and down. Let's go ahead and re-enable our text. And now it's as simple as going to cut out chroma key, clicking that color dropper, placing it on the text and turn your strength all the way up to full. Sometimes there's some artifacts that appear inside of the image. So drag your shadow all the way to hundred as well. There we go. Now you can see our different images are behind the text, but this doesn't remove the issue of having that black border around our text. What I'm gonna do is select our background and our text right click and say create compound clip, click on that layer and change the blend mode to screen. What we can do now is drag a background behind that text layer. And if I just scale that smaller, you can see that our images are inside of our text and we have that text without a background. Now you may wanna do some adjustments because it does subtly change the color of the text. So let's just increase the brightness a bit and change that contrast to a little bit uh, a little bit more and there we go now we have the text floating without a background and we have that changing background effect we're going to follow the same steps for this portion go to cutout create a chroma key and color pick that vacay you can see there are some of the artifacts in the image there so drag that shadow and that should remove them now we have that cool kind of holiday sequence what i'm going to do here is actually do the adjustment before i compound these clips so turn your saturation up turn your contrast up turn your brightness up a bit. That's gonna help this text stand out from the image. Once you're happy with it, compound those clips. I'm just gonna trim off this end quickly. Compound those clips by doing your right click and creating a compound. And now what we're gonna do is go back to video, go to blend mode and change this to screen. Now what we can see is that effect happens and we have the video inside of our image while the other video is playing behind it. Now, what a cool effect that you can do is, is drag that video back on top. Let's drag it so that it matches the timing. And what we can do is add an animation, fade in. So now, as, we, as the video plays and the text settles, we transition inside of that text 
to match that image. Now again, we may want to do some adjustments here to try and match that text a little bit more by increasing the contrast and the brightness. Now if we cut to that, we can see that kind of looks like a cool fade where our text goes into the image. Really, really cool. Guys, and that's exactly how you make that picture or video or color inside of your text image. It's so cool and so easy inside of CapCut. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.